If you have used Immutable.js, you may have run into some struggles when trying to update Immutable lists. It just feels clunky. But we're going to look at how changing the data structure we use can make our lives simpler. Our API returned a list of users in array form, which is pretty typical. It's also really common to simply call immutable.fromjs to convert our data to immutable form. That gives us an immutable list, which is fine, except when we want to update a single item in the list. The way to do it is list.update, but this expects the index of the item we want to update. Usually we'll know the ID we want to update, but not the index, so we'll have to find the index of the item we want to update. We can use list.findindex and return item.getID equal to the ID we're searching for. This will loop through the list until it reaches the item with the matching ID and return its index. So now we have the index. The second argument is a function to update the item. It has access to the item and expects a new item to be returned. So we'll add that function and return item.set with our update. In this case, we'll just update the user's email. List.update returns a new immutable list. So we'll save that to a variable called updated list. Anytime we want to look up a certain item in the list, we need to find it by writing a function to return the item with the ID we're looking for. We did this before with find index, but now we'll just use find. We can just copy the internal check since it's the same, but this time we'll get the immutable list item returned. We'll console log the updated list item and run our code. We get an immutable map since our list has been converted using fromjs. So we'll call toJS to convert it back to a raw JavaScript object because that's easier to look at. And we'll see that we get our item and the email has been updated with the value we used in item.set. Now there's a problem here. We have to loop three different times to work with our data. Finding the index, updating, and then finding the item again. There's a better way. If we are ever working with collections where each item has a unique ID, which is pretty much always, we can use immutable maps instead. A map is really similar to an object where the ID acts as the key instead of an index. Step one is to convert our data to an object. If you use Lodash, this is pretty simple with keyby. We'll import it and then call it with keyby passing users, and then the string ID. We'll console log and take a look at the format of the data. We see that each user is now keyed by ID, and it's in a JavaScript object. Now when we call fromjs, we'll end up with a map, and we'll save it as map. If we want to update an item, we'll use the same update function, but we'll use the ID as our key instead of the index. We'll update the email again. Then when we want to get our individual item, we don't need to use find and loop through the set. We'll just use map.get and pass our ID. We'll still update the item in the same way, but we perform a single loop to convert the data, making it easier to find an update later. So there's two main benefits. One, we avoid the performance hit of extra loops, finding the index and finding the item. And two, our code is cleaner and our collection is easier to work with since we'll normally have access to the ID rather than the index. And keep in mind that this strategy can be used even if you don't use immutable JS. It's often much easier to keep ID-based data stored as an object instead of an array assuming that you don't need to guarantee the order of the items.